obnoxious is uh I don't know, like we're basically a really high energy band. It's a collection of, of, of people who have played their instruments for a long time, seasoned professionals and absolute amateurs. We really drive on like the inspiration that the audience gives us in order to be able to do the jamming that we do together. And it kind of grew out of um, playing with the Kensington Horns. It was a, a Richard Underhill threw together this horn band for playing uh, pedestrian Sundays in Kensington and playing for all the street festivals and you know, the festival of lights and all these things. And it was a really wonderful thing where you've got beginners and pros playing together. And there's an energy that comes out of that that's, that's uh, I don't know how to describe it, really, other than rambunctious. We're just kind of like a funny bunch of individuals from different age groups that kind of got together and created this weird little band. <laughs> But at the, end of, at the end of the festival every Sunday in Kensington, there would always be a jam with whatever musicians were around. You'd get people from different, you know, punk rock band and country band and jazz players and all these people jamming together. And it was just so much fun when we would just, one chord, make it up as we go. And that way everybody's included. So when something is simple enough, then everybody can get on it. And I think that's what Rambunctious is about. <laughs> kind of matched with like the concept that we created and also kind of all our crazy little personalities coming together and being this like high energy like you know spunky band you know uh, our gag is uh, you make up a song title we make up a song <laughs> who, wants, who wants to have some fun and make up a song all right so somebody in the audience shouts out uh neon solo nacho night okay Let's see, that sounds like a, I think a surf beat. She's, I think, 20 years old now. She was 16 when I started working with her, with the punk rock band, and then joined the band, you know, and she's just learning as we go. It's like, oh, hey, well, so let's learn how to play a surf beat. Let's learn how to play a shuffle. Let's learn how to play some Harlem swing. Let's learn how to play New Orleans cakewalk. So she's learning all these different beats. And the band learns all these different forms of basically different cultures, party music. Just the fact alone that we have the whole thing like you make up a song and then we make it, just with that alone it's like we need you in order for us to even be able to like do anything really. Like I don't expect that everybody is going to be a musician. But music is a way to connect with your surroundings, with people. One of my goals with the band is like showing young girls and like women of all ages and all, also other female drummers being like, yeah, we can do this. Like, you can play the drums and do whatever you want and be as loud as you want. And you know, like, girl, woman, hear me roar, like kind of thing, right? Context is everything. And that's where the education for the audience comes in. They might not know what the names of the beats are, but because we're at a, in a world music festival or we're at a, a bar or a restaurant standing on the bar playing or we're at a house party or an after hours or at a street festival and they hear swing music, they're already up dancing anyway. Oh my god, how much fun is this? And then the next song is like a deep funky beat, you know? And then the next song is like Motown and the next song is like a Balkan beat. And there's all this variety, but they're all dance music. And so people who were into swing and enjoy dancing to that music all of a sudden realize, oh wow, what is this crazy Balkan beat? This is amazing. Oh yeah, and now people who walk in during a disco song because they like you know, dance club dance music, 
And then before you know it, they're dancing to a swing song, or they're dancing to New Orleans. We get like a whole range of not only like different groups of people, but like different age groups. Like it goes from like, you know, little kids really like our band to like, you know, older adults and things like that. And it kind of just ranges all over the place, kind of like we do. People can call it a lot of different things. To me, it's soul. It's spirit, right? You've heard the term soul music, but as opposed to a label, that's a particular specific kind of music. For me, any good music has soul. And that's what translates. I think people can tell when a band comes on and puts on a performance and they're there to sell you their commodity, right? You've got, the difference for me is the community or commodity. So a band like Rambunctious, it's all about community. Right? I mean, yeah, there's eight or nine or ten of us, depending. And yeah, you know, we, we walk around with the fedora upside down and you throw in what you think it's worth. You know, we got rent to pay and everything. But that's an after the fact. You're already in having a good time partying, dancing with us. Right? certainly make people take their clothes off at a like, drop of a hat usually if the music's right or like make people just do crazy wild things that normally they wouldn't do. Like that's one big thing I've noticed throughout my years. It's necessary. Mus music isn't just, it's not a luxury item. When, when uh, somebody gets killed on a bicycle and they have a little ghost ghost bike ceremony you know and a bunch of people on their bikes go for a ride and I come with my trumpet and I play and I improvise a, a requiem it's powerful and it, it helps people deal with grief and sorrow and when when I play you know with another band if I'm, I do a lot of weddings and if I play La Vie en Rose for a first dance, for a bride and groom. And all the aunties and uncles have tears in their eyes and this moment goes from being a whatever moment to a sublime moment because the music. Right, the m music for, for celebrating, music for sorrow, music for getting to know your neighbor. It's, 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 essential.